Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this Bosch 18 volt battery and showing 1.6 volts. That's not very high for an 18 volt battery, I'm sure you'll agree. So this is going to be the best video you'll ever see on how to bring up the voltage of a terminally low battery. A battery that's could be considered in a lot of cases below, re below repair level. I've even heard somebody this week saying if a battery is below 15 volts, it's not repairable, not recoverable. I know that's not the case. If you watch my channel, you'll know that's not the case. There is a safe way to bring this up without jump starting it, without damaging the cells. And I'm going to show you how right here, right now in this video. To the point, I'm going to try this battery on a tool. And you'll see there's no chance of it burning anything. This is a perfectly good draw, by the way. I won't even light the LED because it's only showing 1.6 volts. If we try it in the charger, it's far too low to even even show anything. The charger's just showing it's on. If it's charging, that flashes, but no, we're getting nothing there, like. Which I would expect. So what do you do with this battery? If you've got a battery that's very low, below 13 volts, this one's really, really low. What do you do? Most people say connect another battery to it. That can work. But especially in these terminally low ones, it's risky. You can burn out the cells and leave them completely kaput. And leave the battery that you have to replace the cells. So we're going to try and avoid that tonight. I'm going to show you the other method. What we have here is a programmable DC power supply. You just plug this onto the mains and it puts out whatever voltage you want. You can set the voltage. What I usually, for these 18 volt batteries, they're, they usually run between 17 and a half and... 20 so when I bring it up to about 17 and a half or just down around the 17 to get the charger to recognize it to get it to go that will work if there are none of the cells damaged within the battery so let's give it a whirl now I connected the supply to the Bosch battery and I'm going to hit the output button then it'll start feeding the power on as you can see the voltage is rising and once we see that voltage rising to around 17 and then the amps starting to drop we'll know we're ready to put it in the charge and give it a go so we'll leave that on for a little while. It's rising fairly quickly. This is a quick way of bringing up the voltage. You will need the charger to finish the job. But it's a quick way of getting recovery. You can spike the battery with another battery. To give it a quick boost. But like I say before. That's, that, that is risky. That is dangerous for the cells. Some people say it's dangerous it can make the cells blow up. But the main problem is. It overheats the cells and then renders them useless. They actually pop and stop working altogether. So as you can see, this is rising quite quickly. And yeah, once we get to 17 and a half, we're going to try it in the charger again. And like I say, I haven't even opened this battery. If the cells are all just sort of equally low and none of them are defective, none of the banks of cells are defective, this will work like a charm. But if there is defective cells, this will not work and then we'll have to do cell replacement. But this is really your first step if you want to try and recover low voltage batteries. If you put batteries away and they're in a discharge state, sometimes they can just drop well below, well below chargeable voltage. And they'll continue to drop the longer you leave them. And I think that's what's happened. These, these are not my batteries. Somebody gave me these to fix. So that's, that's where we're at with that. So as you see, it's coming up near 17 now. It's coming up nicely. If it keeps continuing to go up, it's a good sign that the cells are good. Because if, um, if you get to about 14 or 15, that sort of stops rising. That means probably some of the cells are away. There's a defective bank of cells on them. But this one is looking pretty good, I have to say. We want it to get up to 17 half volts and we want the amps to start, start dropping. Because once it's nearing its full destination, the amps will start dropping. We could have monitored it with the multimeter, but I didn't do that. But you don't really need to do that. And like I say, this is totally, totally safe. This will never cause a battery to blow up. This is such a mild way. I know it's still putting four amps on, but at the same time, it's the safest way you're going to do this. 
You see the amps are starting to drop now and the watts are starting to drop. That means we're reaching our destination as far as voltage is concerned. I didn't intend to run this video on as long and monitor the whole process but here, here we are. <laughs> we're doing it. So when that comes down to maybe about 2 amps I might try it in the charger again to see if we get a see if we get a, a proper result which is suspectable well and if we press this button we might start to be, we're starting to get a flashing light now where we were getting nothing before so that's that's probably going to be a success I want to get this down really in the ampage I'm going to put a link if you want to purchase these these are not very expensive if you've got lots of batteries and you're interested in maintaining your own stuff or you're interested in fixing batteries like I do you need one of these in your life I'm going to put a link in the description and pinned in the comment section you can buy these on Amazon fairly cheaply and this one's fairly, fairly decent it's fairly compact and it's got a USB you can charge your phone off it and different things it's a very versatile little charger it's really really I don't think you can fix batteries if you if you don't have one of these I don't think it's I don't think you're in the game if you don't very good for maintenance so we're coming down to two now so it's very good this is this is working out I'll press the button again is it a flashing light it's boding well I could have spiked that off another battery but sometimes you get away with it but more times nine times out of ten I think one of these banks of two is going to get fried and you're going to have a cell replacement situation and cells are like everything else in this world like money and like engine oil that doesn't grow in trees you know it's just one of them things cells do not grow on trees so I'm going to take this off the charge now but we'll see we'll get a we'll get into a position we can see what we're doing so we'll stop the output button and we'll try it on the charger now here we have the charger and it's charging you see the flashing light now so we'll leave that on a little while. I'm going to stop the video and we're going to leave it on a little while and see how we get on. This has been charging for some time now, so we're going to take it off and see how it's getting along. We've got it to two bars. The next thing is probably to do a wee bolt check. It's not fully charged yet, but it has taken a charge. And the wee bolt check will reveal if it's coming up nicely. It's come up to 18, 19, 19 volts, so it is about another volt to go, but we may not spend the time with, I think we have a successful job. We're just trying the tool now to see if it pairs this tool. I'm calling that fixed, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel. Romeo or videos.